Fellas, home field advantage. We got to use it, right? Your goal for the day, you cannot speed the ball up, all right? We're going to try to slow the ball down, and the only way we're going to slow the ball down is with our feet. All right, let's go to work. Hi, I'm Nino Geritano. I'm the head baseball coach at the University of San Francisco. Nice job, Mike. I've been really lucky to have great players here at USF. Good rhythm, Jordan. And kids that will do anything to be great from a work standpoint. You feel the difference in that little bit slower here? Let's adjust to that pace. We're going one. Don't rush yourself, Josh. They're out if you play catch. Mike, slide all the way here. Instead of letting your body go towards second base, if you just keep going through the ball, you get to throw it with your feet. That's why it's, it takes you so long. Let your feet throw it there. Get to your right foot and let that throw the ball across. When the ball allows you to go forward, it's quicker. Don't go backwards and around. That's a double play, just by the angle. I think the biggest thing that I have to do as, as a teacher is I have to continue to build the relationships with the players so that there's trust. How can we slow the ball down and catch it clean? How can we take the outs that are given to us and not give them away? That's why we're out here. We're trying to take care of those. Josh, two-step adjustment to the six hole in pregame too. I want you to go two steps closer to the six hole than where you've been. I do have a technical side of what I teach uh, from an offensive standpoint. You're back here and you're going back here even further and then you're going down here and you can't do anything good from here because now you can't get your hands to get to this position from a defensive standpoint. Try to catch the ball forward, and then it takes you in that direction towards second base. Question is this, Kyle, why are we throwing the ball so hard there at third base when we're only about 15 feet apart? There's no reason to speed up and overthrow the ball in this situation. It's flip catch. It's dart catch. It's under control. As soon as we get out of control, <laughs> that means the out's not there, and we're trying to force the out. As I talk to the players, about having weapons offensively, defensively, emotionally. They shut down our speed weapon. We have to be able to execute hit and run. We gotta be able to push or drag. They shut down our short game weapon. We gotta be able to get it into the gap. They shut down our power in a game situation. And we gotta be able to move runners and then score runners. No matter how hard I'm throwing it in execution, if you're on time, you get to it. But if you try to match my power with your power, I'm gonna beat you every day because then I have another weapon. I'm gonna slow you down. You're gonna be going at that same tempo, and as soon as I slow you down, I can beat you with either one of those. I breathe. Breathe is the key. Having a hard time getting to it on the outer half, huh? You have to really look at the individuals, and you have to reach in and be able to take what they have. You know, you were one or two pitches last year early, and that got you going in a game situation. Now it's like. It's four, five, six pitches in an at-bat sometimes, but you're not getting the pitch that you want to hit. Late in the at-bat, they're, they're figuring out how to come in there, and if you, you got to get the ball out away from you in order to have the success that you want. Some kids are very visual. Some kids are very auditory. Got to be patient in those situations, huh? You're trying to go off the plate there with the fastball? I'm just going black. You're going black? They have to see you as real. They have to trust you. They have to know that you're human and you make mistakes. And a lot of times, when you make a mistake, you got to be able to, to openly say it and make an adjustment. I made a, a grave mistake early in the game by playing in. Should have just given them one run. That was a bad coaching decision on my part. Should have just given up the one, been down one nothing, and we would have been in a great situation. I mean, my quest for perfection on the baseball field is there every day. And I don't know if I'm ever going to attain it if I'm ever going to reach it, but I'm gonna quest for it every day. Tomorrow, we're gonna to be ready to play. We're gonna play with some emotion at home. We're gonna to try to protect the home field advantage. We're gonna to try to win a series in this conference. Your biggest game of the year is no longer today. Your biggest game of the year is tomorrow. First half of the double play. It's 
go regular on the, on the steal, all right? We'll just stay back and take the out. If he gets too good of a jump, then we'll come in and cut. There's been a lot of great players who have been able to be really successful at the game. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. And I just think I'm, I'm a small piece of that. Uh, but, but I'm always trying to fix myself and make myself a better teacher. Uh, in the process, hopefully the players become better players.